Well, as we've mentioned earlier on, uh, we've been talking about uh, the Dr. Don Matera legacy. Well, if you've just joined us, Dr. Donato Matera is a distinguished author, poet, journalist, and a storyteller who has made an immense contribution in the country, particularly in the El Dorado Park, the Westbury, the Bosmont, and Inadel communities. His substantial contributions to literature and community development in South Africa earned him an honorary doctorate of literature from the Vidvata Rand University. Now, the Don Matera Legacy Foundation is set to open uh, to ensure that Don's legacy remains for generations to come and to also build a sustainable legacy of his contribution to a free democratic South Africa. Earlier on the show, we spoke to his son and a board member of the foundation, Terry Matera, Teddy Matera. And for more, we now have the honor to be joined by the legend himself, Dr. Don Matera. Remember, you can share your views and your thoughts about, uh, about his work and the foundation, which will be launched next month. Dr. Don Matera, it's always you know, good to see I'm you. Thank humbled, you so I'm much humbled. for joining it's us. It's nice to be back here. Lots of youngsters we trained. Right, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> and you still benefit from your work. Well, we might not have been trained by you directly, at, but uh, in a way we are directly benefiting from no, your that's work. First, uh, that's very important. Gee, so, so good to see you, man. You know, let's talk about how it all started. You know, life in Johannesburg at the time offered very little choices for young stars. Uh, you, you know, it's either you, you know, immerse yourself into a Christian life and a decent life, or you just, uh, you know, gave yourself away to the temptingly glamorous uh, gangster life. But uh, you decided to just yeah. stay focused. Well, it's a long piece of memory. I think part of the, my presence here is to refresh memory. And uh, I'm not any great guy. One of the greatest guys was my teacher, Sobukwe. Yeah, he was one of them. And I would like to say this foundation is to push something that we never talk about, compassion. Okay. Compassion. Okay. Um, the young little Jewish boy came to the, to the world and they did not like him. This little Jewish boy took some Jewish guys, trained them, spoke to them, and told them about love, caring, and so on. And whenever children saw him, they would run to him. And Peter and the other guys used to whoop the children. And then he says to them, if any one of you harm one hair on the head of one of these, it were better for you not to be born. I am here to warm the memories that have frozen. And that the foundation will do that. It will look at the child. We look at all of them. I am in the hands of God at 84. I had a heavy life. At the age of seven, six and a half, they put me on a train mm. with a big board on my chest. My name is Don Matera. Mm -hmm. I am going to seven St. Teresa's Road, St. Teresa's home in Durban. Be kind to me. Sure. Now, why be kind to me? Sure. Never to They were not playing with children. This country never played with children. June 16. Tsetsi mm Mashilini. -hmm. Pope, I can go on, my son. This movement is about compassion. And that little man called Jesus, he said to his guys, if any one of you harm one hair on the head of one of these, it were better for you yeah. not to be born. Yeah. So what we have now, 
We have the redemption now. It is time for redemption. And you, you also reckon that if there was compassion, then South Africa would be a much better place? Yes, yes. You know, you know, actually, I asked your son earlier if you are happy with the current state of affairs with what's happening in South Africa. And, uh, yeah, he asked me to ask you that question. I mean, with having mentored uh, great writers like Monty Makanya, uh, Feral Hafaji, uh, do you really, uh, are you really happy with the state of journalism in South Africa and the state of politics in South Africa? Yeah, well, I would like to say this with hum humility. I've trained 800 journalists in this country, 800. And they were trained on the words of great editors, Agri Cluster, and so many, and so many, and yeah. so many. And we trained them that Boto, Kekholoyaru, Na, Compassion. Compassion. And caring yeah. is our religion. You can bring Christianity. I don't believe Islam. It is about compassion, my son. We, at this time now, we are in a dangerous time. And they will say, oh, he's a, he's a, prom, a, a prophet of doom. But no rajwal. Especially the politician. Mm. But I took my cup from this little guy called Yeshua. Yes. His name is Jesus. He says, if any one of you harm one hair on the head of these, it were better for you not to be born. And we, we are killing children. We are raping them. In Cape Town, this boy came to the family at the age of 13. At the age of 17, he rapes the three-year-old girl. And then he chops her to pieces. And then he puts the pieces in a plastic. And then he buries it. And the dogs come and they scratch out. And they eat the child. Munna. What have we become? What have we become in this country? Bamang ba matela chele te fel. Nda de matera. Ke mutu abotu. Me mutu ari waka. Hamblela. Munna pula. Ke le bitolaka. Munna pula. Wabona Bale and pumping to the children. Look after them. Now, the Don Matera School in El Dorado Park. For children with problems here. Okay. And then the Don Matera Center in Eden Vale. Okay. For children in when conflict with the law. Okay. So, my dear brother, my young son, I want you to say, uh, Dr. Don, before I die, you know, we are so Before honored. I die, yeah. let this country come back to compassion. Compassion. All right, Dr. Don, Thank you, my we are so honored man. to yes. immerse yourself in your wisdom. No, Thank you so much for your time. Christian. Much appreciated. Yeah. Well, that's the legend himself, Dr. Okay. Don Matera, uh, just uh, highlighting his life story and uh, yeah, and his legacy. And uh, of course, he's a foundation. And you've heard the key word is compassion, and it'll definitely solve the country's ills.